Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay, this is Biscuit, and welcome to Inside the Hem, where we dive into all things sewing with style and budget in mind. This month I'm bringing you 30 days of festive fashion sewing, where we are looking at a new garment sewing project idea every single day to inspire your holiday wardrobe. So no matter your personal style, no matter what your budget is, join me as we add a touch of handmade magic to this season's celebrations. Let's dive into today's festive project, a cute and comfy cable knit sweater set. I know yesterday, at the end of yesterday's video, I said I was going to do a drape knit top today, but when I started looking for inspiration, I was uninspired. <laughs> but I did stumble upon this uh, cable knit set and I fell in love. I started to think of all of you who have been saying that some of the stuff that we've been talking about this month is beautiful but you would never wear it to your um, party because your family is way too casual. So this is going to be perfect for those of you who have casual family get-togethers. It is two pieces, which I know seems like a lot of work, but there's just like 10 or so seams in the whole thing. Knits sew up super fast. You don't have to worry about fitting too much, and you will look so polished and put together, but still super comfortable. I hope you love this one. Okay, here she is. Cable Knit Medaxi Sweater Skirt sold separately from the sweater top that she's wearing. This is from Ashley Stewart. And I just thought that this was a really cool take on casual holiday. So we've got a really pretty cable knit um, sweater matching skirt. Hers has a little slit on the side, super cute. Here is the back of the skirt. You can tell it sits at her natural waist and is midi length. Here's her taking a walk in it. Super cute. Oh, they do have a pocket on the side. We're going to leave that off. That looks weird. I, I'm not a fan. Uh, even though they did match up the cable knit, like the stripes, it's still odd. Like, what are you really going to put in there? Um, like, not your hand. Look how silly that looks. <laughs> um, and they must have sold out of the cable knit sweater because there's not a link for it anywhere. So all we have is this one photo of it, but you can see it's drop shoulder. Um, and because, you know, it's ready to wear, they, they are able to get like the matching or the machine to do the cuffs or, you know what I mean, how all that stuff works. We won't be able to get these details of the neckline and the um, wrist, but we will be able to do bands and cuffs um, that can be similar. Here is another version that I found just to give you an idea of a different type of knit. Um, but again, matchy matchy situation. Why is it $225? I have no idea. But um, she has a cuff that she has pushed up and, and then pulled this down over it. She's also doing like a little bit of a French tuck. But again, midi length, close fitting skirt, loose fitting sweater. And it's usually like a pretty high neck. Okay. All right, so pattern wise, we have Mimi G's Simplicity 9450. And something that I literally just noticed for the first time is that this drop shoulder situation or this extra seam is only on one sleeve. That's interesting. <laughs> you could also just cut this sleeve twice and have like a normal sleeve, but it is raglan, not technically drop shoulder. Okay, so it is going to look a little different than our inspiration here. Um, hers is drop shoulder and no raglan, but you do get a similar kind of like drapey vibe from raglan as you do drop shoulder. There's just less fabric in the underarm area. Like you can see, she's got kind of a lot of fabric gathering right there. Whereas with our pattern, there will there will be less. Um, but you have the little banded neckline and the banded um, cuffs. You're going to eliminate this. We're not doing that. And you can also eliminate this V. That just kind of gives it like a little bit more of a sweatshirt or like sporty vibe. And then for the skirt, it is technically a wrap skirt. But if you look, you have a back piece and two front pieces. So you're just gonna cut the back piece twice and then you'll have the skirt that everyone else has. Um, and then they have all finished it with a ribbed band. So the band that you were gonna put here, you're not gonna put there anymore and you're gonna put on the top of this skirt instead. 
All right, so still buy all of these bands, but just don't put this one on here. Don't put it on the shirt, put it on the skirt instead. So with all of those kind of things floating around in your mind, this is the look that you're going to get. No band, it's gonna hang loosely and you're gonna be able to tuck it in or leave it out or do whatever you want. You can push up the sleeves if you want. Um, and we do have the neckband, but look, see this seam here, not on this arm. So interesting, right? Um, it does come in a midi length. It is from the side. Again, you're just going to take this back piece and you're going to cut two of them. Now you're going to have a back and a front. And there you go. So this one says stretch niche, fleece, free, French terry, lightweight ponty, lightweight scuba, and sweatshirt fleece. So all of these are pretty not stretchy knits. Um, which is kind of perfect for our cable knit. Our cable knit might have a little bit more stretch than something like Ponty, Scuba, Sweatshirting, um, but it'll just add to that kind of drapey vibe. And then you'll need to buy your stretchable rib knit as well. So yardage wise for A, we're gonna need like one and a half yards. And then for the skirt, we actually, probably only need a third of whatever they're telling us. No, sorry, two thirds of whatever they're telling us. So maybe you get one and three quarter yards instead of two and a quarter. They don't have the body measurements on this, but when you're looking at your finished garment measurements, make sure that in the skirt, there is not positive ease. I think we do want there to be a little bit of negative ease for it to like fully hug your body, but not so much the fabric is being stretched out a ton. Um, so it's, it should be maybe zero inches of ease would be perfect. Um, I think that personally speaking, um, these pictures of the back of Mimi's skirt, I think it's being stretched too much. And that's why you're getting this little like bloop kind of tail hanging off. Um, but I think that if you check the finished garment measurements and make sure that yours has zero inches of ease in the hip, um, then you should be good. Your waist is gonna be whatever waistband you cut that um, rib knit to. Okay, fabric wise, we have options again. All right, so this season, Joanne has two cable knit fabrics. One of them is this athleisure one. It kind of is giving like brushed a little bit. Um, it's made from rayon, poly, and nylon. So it's gonna be drapey. Um, but it's going to have that kind of like silky feel to it, if you know what I mean. Um, these are some garments that they made from it. They did make it in the ivory color, which is the hardest to see. But you can get an idea of the drape there. I think the drape is kind of beautiful. Um, here's another dress that they made from it. It might be the same dress. I don't know. Um, but again, you can kind of see how it's draping on the body there. I think that this would look beautiful as our skirt and as our top. They do have a, another option, and that is this cream sweater rib knit fabric. And this one just has kind of like a more like all over, like very linear knit, whereas this one has a little bit more of like a braided look, you know, with the S's, the like the links. And this one is made from 50% rayon, 30% polyester, 20% nylon. So not a huge difference there. Yeah, it's like 1% here or there. Actually 1%, it's 1% difference. So they're basically the exact same. So it's just a matter of, do you like this kind of cable knit? right or do you like this one this one here there this is a dress made from that so um you can kind of see a little bit more of the lines there and a little less drape if i'm being honest I, not much maybe it's the design of the dress but either way you can see they they made up both of these fabrics in something kind of close fitting which is what we are going for price wise we are looking at $12.74 for the like S-shaped one and $15 for the more linear one. They both are available in this cream color. This one's actually only available in cream. It was also available at one point in black that sold out and then also gray that also sold out. Um, this one comes in ivory and navy, it looks like, which looks like this. And then this gray color as well. I think any of those would look exceptional. Um, I think they would all make a great, great version of our little 
cable knit sweater outfit here from Mimi's pattern. Thanks for joining me for another day of festive sewing ideas. I hope recreating this cable knit sweater set sparks some inspiration for your holiday sewing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's project where we will be creating a holiday sweater similar to today's but different. You'll see, you'll see. I can't wait to see you back here for more 30 days of festive fashion. Happy sewing. Bye.